All righty. <laughs> hey, everybody, welcome. <laughs> we are live. Uh, my name is Diane Hockman, and I'm super excited to be here today because um, I'm going to bring out the visionary, the goddess, the beautiful girl that put together an exciting event that's coming up, and I'm going to let her tell you about it. But um, I don't know. I'm just excited to be here with these particular people today, and I'm really excited that Jody asked me to be on. So let me toss it to the Biz and Brews founder <coughs> and visionary. Jody Ardito. Jody. Hi, thank you so much, Diane. And hey, I really appreciate you coming on today also and everybody else too. Before we get started though, I just want to um, say a couple things. Um, first of all, this isn't going to be boring. So, um, Diane, I'm giving you control to like mute anybody if it gets boring, okay? Okay. I'm on it. So that was um, an idea that we actually had for Biz and Brews when, when I started planning this event with Ben. Um, we talked about some events we've gone to and they get super boring and there's always that token speaker that goes over time and so he's like, you know, I'm going to take control of the mic and just shut it down if, if they do that. So uh, that's kind of how I want this to go too. If it gets boring or if somebody talks too long, just shut us down. Alright, I'm on it. Cool. So um, a little bit about um, why I decided to have this event. First of all, um, I'm a copywriter. And one of the things that Ben always says to me when I'm write, when I am helping a client or writing for my own stuff, he goes, "Just imagine you can do anything you want. Like imagine like you can fulfill like the ultimate fantasy, and there's nothing that can get in your way. Like you can do whatever literally you want." And so when I started planning for Booze and Brews, that's exactly what I did. I was like, I want it to be a really small group of amazing people who share a passion and a vision for business and whatever. So, um, And then I like to have fun, so that's why I also wanted it to be in the microbrew capital of the world, which is Portland, Oregon. And um, so there's amazing breweries there, and I got us some limos and a party bus, and they're literally going to roll out a red carpet. Okay, so it's pretty cool. They have, like, scepters and shit like that. So it's going to be really fun. Um, we'll we'll be hanging out. I told all the speakers, you know, you guys, but just so the audience out here knows, one of the things that I asked when I asked everybody to come in and see this event, I asked them to not accept the invitation unless they were willing to like abide by a, a few specific rules. And one is no going to bed early. Like I've gone to events where I've spent a lot of money and never met the speaker that I wanted to go and, and listen to. And it's cool to go and listen to somebody and learn from somebody that you respect. But it's really cool to get to hang out with them and like listen to their advice and like bounce ideas off of them. And that's what I wanted this to be about. So um, it's going to be, you know, really intimate and really like personal. So we're, people who come to this event are actually going to walk away with lifelong friendships. So anyway, um, with that said, that's that's really like why I wanted to host this event in Portland. I wanted it to be fun. It's just going to be small. I'm only inviting like 50 people. Um, so, which is so cool, Jody. It's so yeah. cool. The idea that you're putting together an event that is the alternative. It's like kind of like the unevent, you know, because it's the alternative to going and sitting in a chair all weekend and being freaking, sorry guys, I mean, I speak at a lot of events, I attend a lot of events, but some of them, they're just, it's like, I can't sit still anymore. So the idea of getting to go, your ratio of speaker to attendee at this event is ridiculous. And the idea that we're going to be able to hang out and rub elbows and have fun and ride around in limos and, you know, cause mayhem in Portland I think is really cool so I'm excited um, especially about the lineup that you have yeah it's, it's I'm excited about it too I've gone to a couple of you know I've gone to like Ocean's 4 and I think that's where it really hit me like wow this is amazing there's like 20 people here tops we would like go out and shoot guns you know, and like go out and have beer all day. And, you know, we were in Vegas. Like everybody goes to Vegas to gamble, but we were like out shooting guns and like hanging out at the same table for 24 hours. No, not that long, but it felt like it to me. I was like, I got to get out of here and walk around. Anyway, yeah, so um, so it's going to be fun. I'm excited about it. Without a doubt. You want to people? Oh, sorry. 
sorry, one other thing. I don't know if anybody has had a chance to look at the agenda yet, but I actually, that's, that's um, I put the agenda up. If you look at it, okay. the first day of the event is actually just a half day of learning because the other half of the day, that's when we're going to be out in the limos and like going to different breweries and like hopping around Portland. So, you know, it's not going to be like this boring, like sit in a chair all day and then be exhausted when you go out to have a drink. This hey, is John, do me a favor. Shoot me over um, on Facebook while well, well, you introduce your speakers. Um, shoot me over on Facebook the link to the event because I forgot to grab it before. I have it in one capacity. Shoot it to me because we can bring it up on the screen and we can take a look at what's going to go on over the weekend. That's perfect. I'll do that here in a second. So, um, Diane, obviously, <coughs> here we also have Dan Meredith and Shane Hunter and Ben Settle on this webinar. I'm actually having this is actually one of three webinars that I'm going to be doing. I have a few speakers coming on to each one. So this is just like phase one. Um, so anyway, it, I'm going to go ahead and turn it over first of all to Ben and we'll let him talk about what he's going to be talking about and you know why he's excited about coming out here. <clears throat> Thank you Jody for inviting me. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to be talking about how to make a six-figure income every year just writing one email per day. It's very similar to a talk I just gave last September in um, Connecticut, and it seemed to go over good, but I only had 20 minutes to do it last time because they had a very strict 20-minute thing, and this is what Jody was talking about. That was one of those events. It was a great event, a lot of great people, but it seemed like all the people we wanted to hang out with just kind of, I mean, they were like more introverted than me, I guess. They just kind of scram right after they got done talking, and you know, we're not doing that with this one, but they only gave me 20 minutes, and there were people who kept going over their time, even though there was a very specific time limit, and it really pissed me off because I talked really fast to make my 20-minute thing. So this time, we get I, I'm going to have twice as much time to talk about it and go into twice as much detail and probably make it twice as uh, valuable, and anybody can do what I'm going to teach you. There's nothing magical about it. There's nothing, you know, there's no ninja crap or any of that stuff. It's very simple. Do what I say, write one email a day, six figures per year, it's very easy. The time frame, I don't know how long it's going to take you, everybody's different, but you can do it. If I can do it, you guys can do it because I'm the most simple-minded person probably on this, out of the all the attendees and people here talking, I'm the simplest guy. Uh, maybe Dan, you might be a little more simple, but I doubt it. That's it. That's what I'm talking about. Cool, thank you. So, um, Dan, we'll go ahead and let you have the talking stick now, and you can make funny noises or whatever. Make funny noises? You mean speak in the correct language known as English, Jody? <laughs> so. uh, yeah, hello, everyone. Um, I'm friends with Jody. We first started our corporate career very much together. I am one of the uh, disciples O. Settle, uh, one of his only... Uh, mentoring clients, which was a very painful but glorious procedure that we went through. And yeah, I was at the same event, um, similar kind of thing, had 20 minutes. Now I have built a very successful, um, was six, now seven figure um, tribe using nothing but a free Facebook group and my ad spend is all of zero dollars. I've spent nothing, um, I've sent a few books, <clears throat> done a load of webinars and give away a shit ton of very much free content and then monetize my time off the back of that. So I will be teaching people how to ethically grow a tribe without being a douchebag and just adding people in like you no doubt have many plums on your Facebook list to do that to you and then how to monetize it and have a fucking fantastic life off the back of it. Literally, my business, there it is, it's on that, that's all it is. So that's me. Anyway, I tend to swear, if it offends you, I do apologize, but I'm who I am. Latest. Cool. <laughs> uh, so, okay. Um. So Shane, can you? Are you on board here? <coughs> I'm muting him. Mr. Hunter. No, I didn't mute you. I unmuted you. That is. It says you muted him. Yeah, I know. It said that I oh. muted him, but I tried to unmute him. Jody, you try to unmute him. Yeah, and Diane, while while I'm messing with this, go ahead and you can talk about you know your your deal at Biz and Brews, okay? Okay. Well, Jody, do I have your permission to just go off on tangents, or do I have to? I love tangents. I um, I've been in um, my space, uh, which is kind of the home business side of the industry, for 
16 years. And um, Ben doesn't know, but I'm one of Ben's biggest fans. Um, I, I think he does know that I refer everybody in the world. I, I probably made you more money than anybody, Ben. <laughs> you just and and I appreciate it. Oh, no. it's I, I wouldn't <laughs> send them to you if I didn't think your stuff was the best. And guys, the reason why I'm excited about this event, and quite frankly, I don't even remember what I told Jody I'd talk about, um, and I'll talk about something good. I don't know what it is, but it'll be good, I promise. But the reason why I'm excited about this, am I allowed to swear since Dan does? Well, I think that's on the SH word. I know it's not ladylike, but I'm just going to do it anyway. Guys, I started out in, 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 in the side of the industry that, you know, it was all happy, clappy, and it was everything's wonderful and all this baloney. And I just, I hate bullshit. That's the bad word. Ooh. I just hate it. It drives me crazy. And what I'm excited about at this event, and guys, whether you can come to the event or not, we're going to show you the event in a minute. And, and the price point, like I said, the speaker to ratio, the speaker to attendee ratio is unheard of. It's ridiculous. But what I dig about this event is the people that are going to be at it. Because there is no way <coughs> in a weekend at one of those big events, and I love them too because I like to connect and traffic and conversion, all the big events. I, I Believe me, I dig them. No excuses, live the dream, all of them. But there's no way that you're going to connect with people that will give you a no bullshit, I'm not supposed to say that, don't tell my husband, ideas and concepts and ways they're doing it. I mean, look at Ben. He barely advertised. I know Shane got him to run some ads and different things. But the guy runs an empire, and he's the king of copy, just sitting there writing a couple emails a day. Look at Dan. He uses Facebook in, in, in different mediums to build tribes that follow him to the ends of the earth, and he's able to make gobs of money because of this knowledge that he has. Myself, I'm the same thing. I built, oh, there he is. Hi, Shaney. I built an empire, you know, using techniques like one email a day and techniques like using webinars and different things. Jody, maybe I should talk about using Medium. I don't know. I know we said something on the agenda, but maybe we'll change yeah, it. Yeah, you were talking about um, how to, like, turn trolls and haters into, like, lifelong, you know. Yeah, and, and we certainly can talk about that, how to, how to flip people, how to get them to follow you around, how to create a, a, a band of zealots that will, you know, plug into you. But guys, if you're going to invest in an event this year, you know, and especially if you live on the West Coast, because there's never anything. I live in New England. In fact, you guys are in Connecticut, and I want to stab myself. I didn't realize you were here. I would have gone down. I live in Connecticut. There's never anything up here, and there's never anything in the Pacific Northwest. And an event like this, with the type of people that are going to be speaking at this, with the type of access that you'll have to the people, I mean, there's nothing better than getting chummy in a limo. I'm just saying. So, I think it's it's That's exactly yeah. what I was thinking. And these are um I don't know if any you know how often you guys ride around in a Hummer limo, but there's a lot more room for chumminess. So. <laughs> there's more room for chumminess. Can can and, I get a quick description of what chumminess means? Because <laughs> oh wait, I have a, I have a tendency to take things extraordinarily filthy very quick. Just throw it out they may or may not be putting a stripper pole in the center of each Hummer limo. So Don't they come standard? I thought that was like standard in those things. Well, I was thinking about having it removed after I invited Dan to come along. but I think we might be testosterone heavy at this event, so I want to know who the strippers will be. So Actually, you know what, Diane? I'm glad you said that because that was another thing that was really important to me was bringing on some super powerful women. Um, and, you know, I had been recommended by Ryan Stuman to ask somebody in particular to come and be a speaker here, and I didn't really know her, and I should have vetted her first. Ben was like, you got to vet these people. And I didn't listen to him, and I, you know, kind of paid the piper on that. You know, it was like all drama with her. Like, I couldn't get her, like, you know, she just wouldn't do what I needed her to do to come on board, and so I just canned her. Like, so Jody shanked her. I, I <laughs> oh, no, no, we can get down to business, Jody. <coughs> I will be speaking about the wonders of the... No, man, this, this event is going to be mayhem. It's going to be havoc. It's going to be... Yeah. Like, I'm already like, I'm going to get some like freaking Depends to make sure I don't pee my pants because it's going to be so funny. And I just know it. I mean, you know, Mr. Settle can sit at a table. We could all sit around him and, you know, he could be, you know, hold court. Legends table. It's the legends yeah. table that Shane no, and I, I invented. Yeah, I was there. I was there except it you. It will be resurrected. I was just yeah. walking by and it was full. Nobody would let me in. And then Yagi would show. I, I was there, man. We it's got only in five, trouble. It's only five hundred dollars a seat, too, right, Ben? Yeah, we got a little. I think we actually. I think we really angered Ray and Fernie because we kept. We weren't yeah. trying to steal anybody. We just 
you know, it was stuff we already knew that was being talked about. We were just having fun, and everybody gathered. It started out with like me and Jim, the introverts, like we be left the hell alone, and suddenly everybody starts sitting next to us. And now suddenly Shane has a page up called the Legends Table, which is like, and then we're doing affiliate deals and all that other stuff. So you just don't know what's going to come out of these things. There's a lot of business like relationships. Some deal that came out of that and something else, and yeah, it was like crazy. It's awesome. it, it it turned into something. It it took a life of its own, and that's what happens at these things when they're small like this. When you get a small group of people together instead of this giant crowd stuff, and maybe Shane and I just don't like people, and that's why we tend to congregate around these things, but. That's what. That's what. That's the only reason I know I want to go to this. If it was just going to be a next, uh, your typical thing. I mean, how cool is it? Three to four hours of learning, so you don't like get leg cramps sitting there waiting for somebody to drone on for 20 minutes, like I'm doing now. You get to just do this for a couple hours. You go in there, and then it's off to beer land. And and that's, that's where the good stuff happens, right? Seriously, isn't that where the deals happen? Isn't that where the Nobody's going to drop, I mean, no offense to you guys, but nobody's dropping the good nuggets from the stage. We're doing the best we can. We're putting together, oh, by the way, Jody, can I yes. give you, can I be, I'm being really rude and y'all will talk about me later. <laughs> nobody's going to give you slides a month in advance, my dear. So don't even ask. There's no, we have no idea what we're going to say in it. Well, Ben might, but I have, well, have no idea what we're going to say Dan, Dan already sent me some slides. They're like, really? Really Oh, so it's like a canned talk from Saddle. <laughs> Guys, don't come to the event. It's going to be canned. It's not going to be good. I don't know. <laughs> no, if, if you think it's going to be canned, more like bottled than canned to go with the theme. They were like right, bottled. <laughs> they were like cartoon images. They weren't like really slides, but. I just, I'm just being silly. I was like, she wants slides now. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Shane, I'm, I'm being me, so you be you. <laughs> me be me. Well, I just woke up, so I sound super awesome. Um, Jody invited me to this event, I think, because Ben forced her to. Um, <laughs> I insisted on it. That's not true. So, so far, every event that I've gone to, I've improved at least by a 10 times multiplier. If we're being modest, right, Ben? <laughs> yes. I would like to think it's more like 30 times, but right, that could just be the beer talking for all that, I know. That's a lot of math, and we don't want to confuse Dan and all that good stuff. Aww. So, so what I will be teaching <laughs> you fine, fine folks is something that you probably learned in high school psychology class or for those of you that went to college and that sort of thing. Uh, we learned about someone named uh, Abraham Maslow. He has this fun little pyramid called the hierarchy of needs. And it tells you the <laughs> deep psychology behind what people actually need in life in order categorized from the first stuff they need to the very top level stuff they need after they've hey, accomplished Shane. money and security Shane. and all that good stuff. Yes, my dear. Yeah, sorry, Shane. When Wonton starts falling asleep. Wonton is simply <laughs> soothed by the sounds of my voice, Jody. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> sorry, it's, we'll go it, keep talking about It's not my fault that stuff. I have a soothing radio voice. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll put Dan back on sooner or later. <laughs> the dog will start freaking out. <laughs> Go ahead. Anyways, the long story short, this pyramid tells you literally the secret to the psychology of every human being that's ever existed and ever will exist. And I will teach you how to take that pyramid and make a shit ton of money. You combine what I do with what Ben does and with what Dan does and with what Diane does and what, what the rest of these speakers do. And hey, is this a pyramid scheme? Uh, kind of. I think that's Diane's department, though. I don't deal with that. I'm not a pyramid. I just want to make that clear. I just deal with pyramid people. Gotcha. So, so no, this is actual real psychology from real school, you know, where they hand you that ever-important piece of paper that says that you won't make any money for the rest of your life. Um, I take that, and I turn it into something that will actually make you money because that's what I had to do. So. Awesome. Are you going to be um, drinking with us, too? Um, that is entirely up to whether I'm dead or not. Um, <laughs> no, uh, as you know, some of you people know, I am in a lot of trouble uh, health-wise right now, both with my back I'm waiting on surgery, as well as a bunch of my organs are deciding to be part of the language, but pussies, and uh, not attend the party of the rest of my body. So I'm trying to fix that right now, and if I'm yeah. healthy enough, then I absolutely will be 
drinking awesome. with awesome. Ben. I don't know if I'll be drinking at the Dan level, but <laughs> at the Ben level, I can at least hang with that. <laughs> so, so, yeah, by the way, dude, thanks for, I know this is a, you know, it's a, a big deal for you to fly out and make it to Portland to do this, so I really appreciate that. And, of course. You know, a lot of people respect you and love what you do, so I'm excited to have you come oh, out. It's okay, because Britain isn't very far. Oh, it's just down the road for me. Don't worry about it. <laughs> okay, but. Dan, you are you basically live here, so you're here all the time. You're like a naturalized citizen at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Jody, you want to take a look at the um the site, show everybody the lineup and stuff? I could put it up on the screen and you can run through it if you want. Um yeah, that would be great. Uh, hang on. Okay, Jody, click on my face to make me um I mean to click on my little box. Oh my god. Really? <laughs> okay, looking the box. So that hopefully <coughs> that looks There's an hose. for everybody. I click on my take it easy, boys. <laughs> okay, so I did that. I see the site on my side. What else? Do I need to do anything else? No, I'm just gonna scroll as you kinda like run through because it okay, looks like cool. So um yeah, so you guys can all see this. Um it's basically just talking about everything we've already talked about. Um, you know, it's like this is a pretty big deal, as you, as I already said. And um, scroll down to the agenda, would you? Oh no, let's stop here. Look at the speakers, yeah. yeah. Look at the screen. Oh my god. No. Um, so Ryan, how did that happen with the big bottles of liquor? I don't understand that. Okay, yeah. So everybody was instructed. You can see how much people follow instructions here, because everybody was told to like take a snapshot of themselves drinking a a mug of beer, a frothy beverage, but apparently everybody opted to just do whatever the F they wanted. So um, we have a variation of like tequilas and whiskeys and even I think Amy has some champagne. Luis has a kombucha because apparently, I don't know, that's not alcoholic, but anyway. <laughs> so these are like some of the other speakers. Ryan Stuman is killing it like he's just an amazing like guy and say like he's the sales guy so he's gonna come out and teach you like if you have a team or you want to build a sales team or, or whatever so he's gonna talk about that and you know he's got a site hardcorecloser.com that's killing it so he's he's awesome I'm super excited to have him on the podcast on Monday so look for that link too I'll be sending that one out and then we have uh -oh. Hi, well, Erica. I think somebody just hit the lottery. Sounds <laughs> <laughs> like it's somebody in the slot machine. <laughs> so we have Ray Higdon coming out too. Ray is like Who's the that? dude ever. <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, I, I've hung out with Ray a, a handful of times, and he and Jessica are just like the mo some of the most amazing people I've ever met. So oh, just just an update about Ray, Jody. He yeah. said they, he will be, in fact, having one Coors Light. While he's really? Out. So, so he's going to completely while out, and we're going to see probably a blacked out Ray Higdon. Just if, calling it. People who think that Coors, like, I, I think, Diane, you sent me of a your picture with a can of Budweiser. A beer. You a beer. <laughs> I don't Budweiser. I don't Budweiser is not considered beer here in Oregon. Well, that's because you're from Portland, but I'm from Brooklyn, New York, and my daddy's an American. Thank you very much. Yeah, so, um, so anyway, Ray Higdon's coming out. He's going to teach us how to, like, make a shit ton of money by blogging. Luis Congdon's coming out. He's my podcast dude. Um, he's going to tell people how to, like, monetize a podcast. <laughs> super awesome. Even if you don't even have, like, a topic or a product yet, he's the guy to talk to. He's just he, – I know he's probably, like, hooked up with each of you guys on, on getting you guys interviews and stuff, so it's awesome. He's – He's pretty well connected. And then Kamala, uh, she's coming out. She's going to teach us how to create a digital product, like from scratch, and like make a ton of money on that. Vicki Irvin, okay, she is, I don't know, she's, to me, she has a few books. I've read them. She has her own cosmetic line. She, to me, she is, she has, I think her books are like the superwoman lifestyle books. She is a superwoman to me. I love her. I'm so excited to hang with her. She will also be on my podcast on Monday with Ryan Stuman, and I, I, I can't remember who else. We'll get that situated. But anyway, 
Amy Elizabeth is coming out to talk about how to ask people for money for funding your business. Um, apparently, there's like a whole science behind how you approach that, um, the big ego people or whatever. So I'm excited to hear what she has to say because I've never been like one of those people, but I still want to learn how to do it. So uh, yeah, scrolling down, we got Diane and Ben. Obviously, you guys are here and you've already had this yourself. So. Um, but yeah, the agenda is pretty exciting. Let's go to that part so people can see like what's up. Uh, good. So if you want to come to the event, the event, the actual event is on the 18th and 19th. But the speakers are all coming in a day early. We're gonna have a big dinner, and then we're gonna head over to the bar to just like have anybody who wants to fly in or drive in the night before the event starts. You're totally welcome to come in and hang out with us. Um, it's going to be super low key. There's nothing like formal, so you know, just wear your jeans and whatever, and let's just go and hang out and connect. Um, and then, you know, in the morning of the 18th, we we have to start early because this brew tour is going to be amazing. Um, I've done the brew tour in Portland a few times, and it's pretty exciting. So I don't want to like spend the whole day indoors. Um, so we're just we're gonna get started around 7:30. Uh, I think I'll probably be opening. Who knows? I think Ben might. We we might share the stage there. I'll be doing like some first time comedy stuff. <laughs> <laughs> um, no tomatoes. Um, and then from eight to noon, we'll be having our sessions. And then we're gonna go have a fully included lunch. Like this is another thing. When you go to these events, it should be included. You know, we pay thousands of dollars to go to these big events and. You know, you get like a lanyard and a bag of crap, like advertising. We're not doing that here, okay? This is like, you come in and we're paying for your meals. You know, you just get, you get to Portland, get your room, and we'll take care of you. That's what's really special about this. Like, I really wanted everybody to feel like it's just like your cost of basically coming to the event, and you don't have to worry about all that other shit. So um, yeah, the brew tour is all covered. Um, we're gonna meet back at the bar for like nightcaps first night, and then the second day, gonna be a little longer, but still same thing. We're gonna cover your meals and stuff. But after the sessions are over that day, I'm hosting a cocktail hour. It's like a two-hour party. So I know the time says hour and a half, but we're going over, and then we'll go head over to the bar after that's over. There's like a little break, and you need to go wash your face or whatever. Um, do it, but like I said, none of the speakers are allowed to go to bed, so drunk or not. So, yeah, um, you know, it's a VIP experience, so that's what I'm pretty excited about, and I want everybody to feel that, not just the speakers, even though I, like, my speakers are very special to me. You guys are all awesome, and I'm going to treat you guys well, obviously, but I also want my attendees to feel the same way, so we're all equals here. Jody, this is basically an all VIP event, basically. It is. Yeah. That upgrading, like some people are the peons and some people are the cool people. It's yeah. VIP across the board, period. Yeah, there aren't going to be like five people of like a special green lanyard, you know? It's not like, it's not like that. Everybody's VIP. That's awesome. Awesome. You want to go through how, what, what it runs to come and stuff like that? Oh, yeah. You know, so here's the other thing. Um, you, you know, if you want to make payments, I have a payment option here for you. Most people aren't opting for that, but that's cool. If you need to do that, I totally understand. So I have two options. Um, I have it ending on the 7th for this one-time price of thirteen seventy-five, dollars or you can do two payments. It's a payment today, and in two weeks, it'll bill you for that second payment. Um, I have that ending on the 7th, but I'm, I may end it early. You know, it, it just depends on what happens. Um, so you have time. They fill a lot of seats this week. Um, exactly. So once I, this is the other thing. I'm only selling 50 spots. Like they're gonna sell out really quickly. So if they, you know, if they sell out in the next couple of days, I'm just gonna close this page down altogether. Excellent. Excellent. I think. Um, let me come back over, Jody. I just think it's. Um, let me turn the screen off. I don't know where. Where's the button to turn the screen off? I don't know. I, I've never, I've never really been to an event like this. <laughs> Hunter, what are you doing? Licking Meredith. Wow. <laughs> Where are you facing the wrong way? On my screen, he's the other way. Lick him properly. Well, my if you're gonna lick him, lick him properly. So. And I'm just saying. So you know, you know, mm -hmm. do the right thing. Mm -hmm. There you are, Diane. I'm back. 
I'm going to take credit for figuring that out, even though it's probably there, there you go, because Lord knows not. I don't know what I'm doing. It seems to work out, though. I make money. comes in every day. So. <laughs> when, when's the last time Ben said something? We should make him say something again. I think so. <clears throat> I just I hear a lot of quacking going on lately, so I just kind of tuned out. Uh, do you need some more meat in your life again, Ben? I think I, do. I, need, more, I need some more protein. Fuzzy, protein. fuzzy meat from Britain. Oh my <laughs> <laughs> I'll bring you over a bit. I'll bring you over a bit. You know that that really could be Dan's like nickname, fuzzy meat. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll be honest. That will be a very different niche <laughs> slash avatar that I'll be appealing to. Let's put it that way, Ben. <laughs> and successfully derailed. Back to Jody. <laughs> <laughs> okay, for any of you who are going to come along, this is basically what I do in life, is just troll my friends and audience. So I will be causing maximum mischief, and I'll be completely shit-faced as well. It's profit. I, hey, Jody, is drinking all day allowed, or do we have to behave in the, you know, are we... I mean, is there, like, a time slot that we're allowed to... You know, the, I'm glad you mentioned that. Um, so... <laughs> You know, obviously, it's not like, you know, I'm not going to, like, sit there and be the alcohol police or anything. If you want to bring your trashy flask into the actual event, that's up to you. But, <laughs> um, I... What if it has your initials on it? Is it then no longer trashy? If you put it in your coffee, does it count? That's the question. Like, like, this oh, is the one I'm going to be bringing right here. That big so I can see it. Ben, show us that again. Ah. You have to my, <coughs> my hip flask has hashtag bald deep on the side. Is it? So is it will... not? Can you not read this? Is it not coming in clear? We're good. We're good. Okay, we saw it. The beatings will continue until morale improves. That's Which is pretty much the theme of the whole biz and bruise. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. but during the actual event, it's not. You know, I had some questions. Jason Moffat was talking to me and he's like, no, dude, you can't have people like in the bar giving these speeches. Nobody's going to listen to them. And I had to tell him, you know, it's not actually going down in the bar. We actually have a ballroom that we're going to be having the sessions in. That's not going to be in the bar. That's separate. Like the drinking happens outside of the teaching. I, I you know, like, sorry guys, we've got to be like, I, I want this to be valuable and fun. So, so no scotch on stage then. No so that's actually in my contract. Uh, you know, at NES, uh, Diane was drinking wine at NES, I remember. That's true. Yeah, well, I made Fernie buy it for me. I sucked him in. Yeah. I said, I'm not getting on stage unless I have some wine, man. Okay. I thought that was a good idea. It was like 8 o'clock in the morning, so I don't know about you, but I'll be, I'll be like, lucky if I'm awake. You know, I'll be awesome, on, you know, but, you know, we'll, we'll consume <laughs> later. I'm kidding. Jordan. Okay, Diane, I need a glass of wine. That's fine. <laughs> I think I'm not going to be having a glass of wine at 10 o'clock in the morning. I'll wait until the Hummer. Woo. Just saying that gets me excited. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> Dad and I are friends now. See, we, we didn't really we didn't have that kismet before, but now we're better. <laughs> cool. Well, oh, gosh. Cool. Hey, guys, well, make sure that you click so you see the information because we have a link right over to the uh, to the site. Or I'll put it um, – there's that little – I don't know. I don't know how it pops up on your side of the screen, but there is a button that you can click to go look at the site because uh, the uh, somebody's got to sell the event, Jody. I mean, somebody's got to, you know, somebody's got to pump the event. So I'm just like letting you guys know where it is, and it will sell out pretty damn quick. I know when I heard about it, I I'll take my a stab way at it. It's my favorite way of selling any event. It's a tax write-off. Just buy it. Done. There you go. <laughs> That was good. I fund my entire travels to America off of events. So literally every event I go to, I learn something. It's a tax write-off. You give it to the government or you learn some something. So give it give it to your friends. There you go. Win. Dan, Dan the tax expert. <laughs> right, He's an international tax expert. Get it right. You know, Dan, I got to say, Dan, you're, you, this, your beard and all that, you're going to fit in real good up there in Portland. Oh, yeah. You may never leave. Yeah. Get some skinny jeans well, on, and you're and you're in, man. He needs a he needs a man bun. <laughs> hey, listen, Jody, I've got my great jeans on again. Those ones are the ones you love. Look at oh, those. Oh man, those are my jeans. They're are those are the jeans bigger. you wear, Dan. I make women's jeans work for me. They look fucking great. <laughs> I wear those too, so it's good. It's good. I'm growing so, a baby beard. Does that help? I know. Very cute. Tickler. 
I was noticing that, Shane. It's very cute. <laughs> Speaking of uh, Dan fitting right in in Portland, that's another thing. Um, Portland has a little tagline, like whatever that's called, keep Portland weird. And I, I can't remember if Austin has the same tagline or whatever, but it is kind of weird there. It's awesome, but a little strange if you venture just a little bit down the way from where we're all going to be staying. You may see women, like weird women, carry, like walking their boyfriends on leashes. So really? You have that community there big time? Wow. It's pretty it's, weird. So there's no men in Portland. Basically, yeah. <laughs> Just quickly, Jody. Do they wear little funny outfits while they do it? You got that group too, the furries or whatever. You got the whole. Oh, there are, are some furries. Yes, yeah. actually, right across the street from. But we're going to be on oh, the waterfront. Dan finds, you know, some other furries like yeah, oh. when he comes. So. It can, it can get weird. I'm just saying, like, don't come here thinking that it's going to be, you know, it's... it's from Kenosha, it might be different. <laughs> it'll be some awesome content for anybody who wants to go live. If you have an iPhone now on Facebook, you can go live. Dan, can you say something? What, with my oxygen mask on? <laughs> oxygen mask? I thought that was a jock strap. No? Oh, Christ. <laughs> it's a <laughs> isn't it? What? Freshly taken from a 250-pound rugby player. That sounds accurate. <laughs> That's awesome and disgusting. You'll fit right in. It's going to get worse. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Tony, that, just so you know, the Q&A is on. If anybody had a question about the event, they can write in there. We did turn on the Q&A um, in case anybody wanted to know, like, you know, Anything. I don't know. Whatever they need to know. Like, you know, we do have a host hotel, right, Jody? You have the... We do. Hotel. Yes. So we'll be staying at the, uh, the Portland downtown waterfront Marriott, which is an amazing... They just, like, completely re or renovated everything. It's gorgeous. I'm actually going there this weekend, so I'll throw up some, like, live videos while I'm there. Um, um, but anyway, it's right on the waterfront, and they're giving us an amazing rate, so it's only, like... Hi, Shane. <laughs> It's only, it's only going to be like 150 bucks a night or something. It's super cheap for the high-end hotel that we're going to get out of it. So it's awesome. Fancy. Fancy, fancy. Yep. yep. Where did he go? I'm frightened. Bane doesn't realize he has to talk to actually get attention. We're the only people that can see you doing this. <laughs> no, they can all see him. The whole no. audience can see Shane. Yes, they can. I'm a pro at this, Jody. I know exactly what I'm doing. He's ninja. Very ninja. Will there be voodoo donuts? Because I want one of those Eamon Bundy donuts. Yes. In jail on the donut? That sounds fantastic. There is a, there is a voodoo donuts uh, within walking distance. I will, it was going to be a surprise, but I'm actually getting like voodoo donuts certificates for everybody, too. I like um, it. Well, I just spoiled my own surprise. But yes. that... <laughs> <laughs> I think it was in Supernatural that they had a box of Voodoo Donuts when I was watching one of the episodes, and I was like, oh, my gosh, it's Voodoo Donuts. Oh, I saw it on TV. I forget what show it was that showed those donuts. So. Yeah, it was on Supernatural, so I don't know if you ever checked that show out. It was I couldn't watch more than two episodes in a row or I'd have nightmares, but Voodoo Donuts are awesome. Wow. <laughs> So, um, so yeah, cool. Well, I'm really excited. Hey, so uh, just to give Ben a little bit of extra PR today, um, he released something uh, new and exciting. So, Ben, I'm going to let you. Is He's talking to somebody else. Oh, you know what's going on? He just bought a house on the beach. And, like, two weeks after he bought it, he, like, his walls are, like, falling apart and stuff. So he probably has people over there, like, fixing his house. Yeah, it's been fun. I've been trying to, I've been trying to mitigate, so to speak, what I'm saying here because, well, you want this wall knocked down? <laughs> this one, Mr. Settle, this one. <laughs> it's it's pretty much like that right now. So, so Ben, I was just telling everybody, like you're, you know, like I'm gonna give you a chance here to let everybody know what you're, what's going on today about like your copy slacker thing. Well, that's another thing I'm doing as we're all talking right now is I'm keeping up with the uh, the launch of new copy slacker product. So far, we're doing. I think we're going to do about 60, 70 sales over the weekend, and uh, that sounds pretty good for a $500 product. Um, 
it's just the way I write ads. It's it's a very simple way of doing things, five step thing, and how to research when you're doing ads because a lot of people get full of overwhelm and they get all confused. Like like Dan's already confused. He just walked away. <laughs> and, and, uh, right. But that's what it's for. It's for people who get confused and overwhelmed with copywriting and they want to make it easier and they still want to make write ads that make them a lot of money. Yeah. And so, slacker friendly. That's why it really is. Slacker friendly. Or, or people like me who keep starting over. It's especially for people like you. But you know, the, the thing is, is it. It's also been getting testimonials already from guys like Doberman Dan, who's like already gone through like half of it, and he's like, "Man, this is like one of the best courses." Of, and he's got everything. He's one of Gary Halbert's old proteges and everything. So that was a good a good sign. And can there's, you, a there's a coupon today. There's a coupon. There's a coupon deal today. There's there is. Coupon. It's two hundred and fifty dollars off this till Sunday at midnight Eastern time. Go to copyslacker.com and in the uh, shopping cart, just in capital letters, slack. In the coupon thing, you get two hundred fifty dollars off. Uh oh, we lost Jody. She's probably freaking out right now. <laughs> what ben, can you do me a favor, buddy? I can do you. I'll do anything for you. You don't even have to ask. Excuse my language, anyone, but could you stop fucking making stuff? I've got all of this stuff here. <laughs> Christ knows how many of your books. Stop it. <laughs> you know full well I'm just gonna buy it again. That's what I hope. I, you know, I love selling things and people. I'll sell it again the next year, and people will buy the same product over and over. Fine, I'll buy it. God's sake. <laughs> Let's get the hashtag trending. Make Dan read. We can. <laughs> <read. laughs> yeah. yeah let's, let's, Dan, give us a sample. Can you read the sales pitch? <laughs> Well, there's no sales pitch. Ben tells me to buy something, and I just fucking buy it. I just, I just do that. Yeah, well, that's been, that's been going on in my Facebook group right now. Is people like I didn't even read the sales letter. I just bought it, which kind of like pisses me off. Cause I want to like demonstrate <laughs> what I'm doing here, but whatever. <laughs> I now even get one of my little minions to read the players and then give me the highlights because I'm I get so excited and I'm like, just tell me one thing to do. So yeah, just I'm gonna buy it anyway. So yeah, I'll buy it in a minute. That's a good idea. Minions. Hashtag make Dan read. Oh, you need to <laughs> Shut up, Shane. You know I love you. <laughs> I'm so going to steal all your pain medication. That's fine. Oh, are you coming? Oh, wait. Shh. Shh. <laughs> oh, that's another thing about Oregon. Um, not the free pain meds. What? what? No, not free pain meds. <laughs> um, another thing that's really weird about Oregon right now is like marijuana was just made, like it was just legalized. And, and I'm in trouble. <laughs> I am not. I have no hookups with that. So you're gonna have to go talk to the girl walking her boyfriend on a leash. Can I just go to Safeway or something? <laughs> <laughs> Safeway does not sell it. I need to see that while I'm there. We need to. We need to go for. I need to see the girl walking her boyfriend on a leash. I. I need to see that. It, it has to. I think it needs to happen. Need to see it. I'll walk down on a leash. Is there latex at all? Dane. It's weird. They're like these like choker collars too. Like I don't know if it's a shock collar or what, but it has like <laughs> like studs that stick out. Yeah. It's scary. But what is she is she wearing anything special or just casual day wear? They're usually like really super. I don't know if gothic is the right word for it. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Like a lot of leather. Yeah. Black shit. With black. pink bunny slippers and no. curlers in their hair. <laughs> no, that, would, that would be too cute. They sound kind of like a duck when they talk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm down for that. So. Right, well, if, if you don't want to come to this event yet, I don't know what else there is to say, right? Yeah. So it, yeah, it'll be fun. I'm I'm telling you, like I'm excited even just to go up this weekend. And I haven't been to Portland in a couple. You know, it's been a few months actually, I think. Um, but yeah, I'm excited about it. So like I said, I'll be shooting some like live video feeds and stuff, and showing you guys around so you guys can check me out on Facebook if you're not already connected with me. Um, it's just Facebook.com/backslash Jody Ardito. Um, so you guys can follow me. Um, right now, I'll I'll accept pretty much anybody if you friend me, unless you're you have no mutual friends with me, then you're off. 
you're not accepted. But anyway, um, yeah, so check out my feeds. I'll be taking you around, showing you Portland. Diane, if I see that woman walking her boyfriend, I will get it on live feed. Get that camera because I need, I, I need that. It's like I've been married for 25 years, and it gets a little boring, and we need some, you know, some video footage or something. <laughs> When I said that I wanted powerful <laughs> women at this event, I didn't, I didn't mean that. Your poor husband. I can't, no, 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 no. I don't want to do that to him. We just want to look at the video. Just, don't, no, oh, no, 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 no. Do not misinterpret. My husband's the alpha male in my house. Let me tell you that. Let me, let me do not misinterpret that. I'm just saying it's something interesting to you know, watch or something. Awesome. No. Jody, there's a there's something else I'm gonna do oh, for God, people she, she, for like the 30 people who are on this call only. So if they go, so I know JT Devolt, you're coming, right? So at least for him <laughs> and whoever else is coming. So Jody knows this guy that I had. I did some consulting with uh, in in Jan or December. I did some consulting the whole month, and he usually does zero sales in January. He's in the entertainment. I can't say a word he ex exactly does because he told me I can't. Thief. But he does like zero dollars in December basically, and he does like zero dollars in January usually, but he still does pretty good the rest of the year. Anyway, I told him how to email in a very specific way that I've never taught anybody else, because actually he was my experiment with this, where he went from zero in December to $100,000 in sales, and in January he did over $200,000 in sales just doing this one thing with his emails. It's all he did was change his emails, he didn't change anything else. And he was already doing pretty good money, he was already doing like 20 grand a month or whatever. But he did a hundred thousand, and so anyone who's on this chat and only this chat, this won't apply to the other chats that Jody does. Um, come find me at Biz and Brews, and I will show you what it is. And I'm going to be doing it in this golf business that I work in. It's going to destroy all of our competition. It's just a very, very simple way of doing email. It's two emails a day. If you do this, I can virtually guarantee you you're going to just kick all kinds of ass. Awesome. Thank you, Ben. That is really cool. I'd like that, please. Yeah, Ben, is there any way you could share that with us on the panelists here? Because I have some very expensive hobbies I need to fund. Well, that's what I'm saying. Anybody who's on this thing right now, you guys just come find me at Biz and Brews. Better not do it while I've had too many beers because I'll forget all about it. But just remind me. True. I'll show it to you. It'll take you literally five minutes to learn it. It's the simplest thing in the world. Nobody does it. I'm not even probably – I may teach it email players down the line, but it's going to be a while. And I might teach it to people who go to my next Oceans 4 thing, but for now, just the people on this chat here, if you show up to Biz and Brews, I'll show it to you. And if you implement it, if you have a list and an offer and you implement this, this like $1,300 is going to seem like it's going to be like a drop in the bucket compared to how much you'll make. That's super cool. And, yeah, um, it's unfortunate that that guy is all like secretive too because – He's pretty amazing. Like yeah, and he, uh, I mean, he, he just, he says that his market, which is in the entertainment industry related thing, they just don't like the fact porn. that he makes money. Not they, porn. He's not in porn. If he was, it'd be actually more interesting. But he, he just, he's one of these guys. He just doesn't like his customers. Don't like the fact that he makes money. So he doesn't want to be in Google and people throwing his name around and all that. But uh, he's, he sells something that is very anybody could do it with any product. It doesn't matter. Awesome. Well, Ben, that's pretty nice of you. I'm, I'm glad to hear that. I didn't expect that offer to be thrown out, so I'm excited. Shane, you have a, a little uh, offer you have going too, right? I do. About? I'm going to check um, the sun out of my face while you talk. She's going to do what out of her face? What the hell's going on? Oh, well. <laughs> um, so I'm not really entirely sure how she wants me to address this, but some. Jody, why don't yeah. you address what I'm offering? Because I don't know exactly how you were planning on offering it. You didn't get that far in our conversation, so. Oh, oops, I thought I thought I got an email from you with some special offer, but that's <laughs> okay. You can just mail your list again. <laughs> Not already, but it was pretty cool. It was like some like one-on-one -on -one thing or something. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. Well, oh, you and I have been talking. Like, you, you and I have been talking about like three or four different attendees, things. Though, right? so. There, there's actually some secret offers later on at the actual event that I'm also kicking into. Ben, remember those uh, those consultation videos that yes. you and I have been talking about forever? Uh, those yeah. are going to be available publicly for the first time ever, but only at Jody's event. So oh. the pe first people that will get access to that, it will only be at Jody's event. Um, 
But what we're talking about here is basically uh, anybody that I brought to this call, to these, I don't know, there was something like 80 people that clicked on my offer so far to come to Jody's event. Um, if you guys come, I will give you an hour of my precious time, and I don't like people. Ask Ben, he knows. Um, I will give one hour of my time. It will be dedicated to you either at the event or on Skype, and I will help you come up with you know, the ads that people like Ben have paid me to make, people that like Dan have paid me to make. Ryan Stuman, that's another speaker here, also wants me to do his ads. Ray Higdon has. Uh, I've worked with Frank Kern. I've worked with everybody on down the echelons of internet marketing, and they all value my services uh, at a pretty high standard. So that as a bonus for you guys coming to something that's already going to make you guys a lot of money, probably a good idea. I would do it if I were you. Awesome. Thank you. Um, cool. Yeah. Dan, what about you? Are you going to do anything super freaking cool? Like He will shave. And no. Oh, we like him that way. No, if we no, fill no. the event on this call, I will shave Dan Meredith at the event. I will literally, <laughs> I will literally punch you through the chest. There's, I, will, it's, I, will, I will. Yeah, that would be fun to watch. No, but change that blues now. Punch him later. Uh, what am I thinking? What am I doing? Um, custom selfies. That's a thing. I can do that for you. Obviously, my selfies are brilliant. <laughs> I'll write something on a plane that will be really good, and you can have it. I can also, if you want, bring in for everyone the get shit done notepads nice. with my face on. So I can also bring you a custom picture of my face. I want one. I want one. Dan, are you bringing pie face with you? I'm bringing pie face. It's Woo! here. It's okay. behind me. There may or may not be an event called pie face at the event. Yeah, it's here. Pie Pie Face is game? Yes. yes. I, I, can you imagine that as a drinking game? Like that, that will, yes. When I first saw it, there was like a little kid with his grandfather, and I said that would make a great drinking game. Oh, yes. It was a cute little boy, but I, I thought of a drinking game. So, anyway, oh. the, that game will be there. Wow. Are you looking up the video of the Pie Face... Diane. <laughs> I'm not. I've seen the pie face, so I. That's why I'm excited because pie face. You can be. You adult, can, you can be adult pie face is different than kids pie face. Yeah, you and Dan get to go first, okay? Well, you know, Jody, I don't. Ha I didn't think about doing any special bonus, but we did do three hundred thousand dollars on a webinar last night. Maybe I can put something together to show people how to do something like that. That's Sweet. kind of a fun thing to do. I'll sign up for that. Put really people on a leash again. Hey, Jody, I'm going to have to run off pretty soon because I'm leaving on a boat. I'm okay. on a boat. I'm on a boat. But I'm super excited. I know he's got here. Let's Thank see. you, Shane. That's awesome. Yeah, no, that's cool. Do they, do they walk on all fours when they walk them? They do. Yeah, it's really creepy. Really? It's yeah. Cool. Really. Oh, we're getting the vista. So cool. I know... Um, I, I know you have to get going, and uh, I have a huge, massive schedule to do too. So I know you guys are all busy. Thank you. Dan, thanks for coming on. I know it's late in your well, it's getting there. Thank you for working late and coming on and hanging out with us today. Ben, thank you. It was awesome. And Shane, awesome. Thanks. Uh, again, the offer, you see it, um, grab it because it probably will not last past the next couple days. So if you want to join, I'll put the link on my Facebook for the next webinar with Ryan Stuman and Vicki Irvin and somebody else. Anyway, um, else. what's that? Did you just say Ryan and, and Vicki and somebody else? Yeah, I can't remember who right now, and I don't really want to, like, get derailed and try to look it up. So I, I'm trying to put, like, three or four people on each webinar to talk about the event. So if you want to come and check out what Ryan's going to be teaching, you can join us. Or Vicki Irvin, she'll be live with us on Monday. She's amazing. Oh, she is. Have you met her? Uh, I've, I've been at different events with her, but I haven't really hung with her. I'm, a, I'm intimidated by her hotness and her outfits. Like, she is smoking. She's pretty, like, yeah, she's pretty hot. What day of the week is it? <laughs> what day of the week is it? <laughs> yeah. It's Thursday, but I think in California it's a different day. I don't know. Probably. <laughs> right, guys, I need to chip off. I need to get to the bathroom before my next call. So, love you all. Nice to meet you, those I haven't met before. 
and apologies in advance to those I have or intend to offend. Take care, everyone. <laughs> See you guys later.